how I've won. Bonus video for you for our third video on this Thursday. We're looking at the JMA seasonal model. So, uh, yes, we're going to be going three months ahead with the uh, JMA seasonal uh, update from this month, going through December, January, February. We'll have a look at all of the data, of course, covering the full winter 2023 24. Uh, period. This, of course, is ahead of Saturday's third and final winter 2023-24 season one round, where we can get all the long range points together, around 15 of them. Um, and we'll see for the third and final time this season what they're all showing for the uh, coming winter. And, um, yeah, so, uh, as I say, this will be included in that update, of course. We always include the JMA, but um, we, with so many other models to look at, we, we won't have time to drill down into the detail month by month. And you can get a lot of detail from a JMA C's model, so uh, that's what we're going to do for this one. And then when you watch the season one round on Saturday, I'll just show the three monthly charts, you'll know what you're showing um, like in detail on a month by month basis. So I'll get to all that for you in a second. Just say that first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've released the detailed European outlook. Very interesting. Uh, that's where we've got a 10 to 14 there with all our break features coming up for you later on this afternoon. And then if all of that wasn't enough, we're going to have a 12 day model roundup for you uh, this evening. So that's quite unusual. And when they start a you know, something is going on within the model output. So uh, we'll have a look at the 12s there between around 7 and half 7 uh, this evening. That means that the ninth Christmas update is uh, going to be released on Sunday, having a bit of a gap with Christmas updates at the boat. A bit of a pause, I guess. So the ninth Christmas update will be on Sunday, straight after Sunday's live So much going on at the moment. So much content to do. I've got all of the winter update stuff as well. To sort out in the next couple of days. So I'm going to be a very, very, <laughs> very, very busy gav. Uh, let's just put it that way. Okay, let's get on with the JMA seasonal update. Anyway, so we're going to start off with the uh, 500 bill of our height anomaly for December from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So this is the uh, North Pole just here, wider Arctic circle around there. And I've got my statues through here. Blue is extrapolated to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. So, uh, this is December, month number one, and it looks unsettled. Westerly and Atlantic driven with a trough of low pressure, air grade pressure in the North Atlantic, bringing wind from a westerly direction. So, that gets us off to a mild start for uh, winter 2023. 24. Now, we go through to January, and we look rather in between, in between. So, the low pressure is moving over onto the eastern side of America, where that is a very cold signal, by the way. That could be a really cold January into eastern parts of America with that low. For us, we, we're trying to maintain a westerly flow there. We've got high pressure still bridging in towards Spain and whatnot. I've only just flattened off a little bit, but we are raising the heights as well to the north and to the northeast and maybe we'll be trying to get the wind in from over an easterly direction so a bit in between in between in january but possibly transitioning something a little bit more blocked and then february which is month number three this by looks by far the best if you want cold weather in the winter so we get a mid-atlantic ridge extending up towards a blocking area of high pressure around greenland and into the pole a trough of low pressure is over to the east of the country and that brings the wind in from a northerly direction or a northeasterly. So cold and windy potentially there in uh, February. Well, notice Eastern America also still with this chop of low pressure, which will bring down northerly winds. Um, no, January and February potentially looking very, very cold there for eastern parts of America. But by February, we're cold on both sides of the Atlantic, courtesy of that blocking area of high pressure. The winter overall looks like that, so low pressure dominated, but with some blocking uh, up to the north and higher pressure down to southwest. I'm not sure that's all that useful because we do see a lot of interval variation. Every month has a has a different pattern out of the three. So uh, obviously December starts off rather westerly, then we end up potentially with northeasters by February. 
Right, so let's have a look at the tropical and mid latitude uh, view next. Then. So we can't see Greenland, the Arctic, North Pole, etc. Those areas off the chart there. We're on the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. So this is month number one. Again, for 500 millibar heights, dominated by low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic along with a westerly flow. The temperature anomaly for December is actually overly mild. It's slightly above average, though most parts of Europe are in those yellow colours, which is one to two degrees above norm. But I think a milder than average December would be likely there. And of course, with low pressure dominating, wetter than average as well. So mild and wet westerlies for um, December. The wind arrows, where's the job to make these out, show that the mean wind direction is coming from the west, possibly a little bit of a northwesterly tilt to the uh, wind arrows there, which would explain why the temperature isn't that mild for us, because there would be potential for some cooler incursions off Greenland. But generally Atlantic driven and westerly for December. Right, go through the month number two, which is January. So heights are rising then up to the north, but at the same time, we still have the Azores high ridging to the south and southwest. It's Deep drop of low pressure into uh, northern and eastern parts of America as well. So the temperature anomaly looks like that. Notice it is going for a colder than average January over towards the eastern states. But for us, again, near normal temperature to slightly above average. Precipitation also is looking above average for January. So rather wet start to 2024. Um, wind arrows are interesting because we see both west south west is just to our west coming through the Atlantic. So the Atlantic flow is trying to be maintained, but if we come over here, we actually see easterlies are trying to head our way um, from the east as well. So we're kind of in a, in a in a battle, I suppose, really in January between westerlies, south westerlies, and east. Or North East Lears. Um, now, January is a 50 50. It's a 50 50 and could go in either direction. But by February, I don't think there's much marginality about that because we've got uh, a nice mid Atlantic ridge. It's going up towards extensive northern blocking. If we come over here, there's a trough of low pressure centered over to the east country, which should bring the wind in from a north or a northeasterly direction. Still not looking cold of an average mind in uh, February, still sort of near normal temperature, but I reckon we would have a cold and average February if that came off. Still rather above average precipitation as well. So, uh, of course, if it's cold enough, that will be snow. Check out wind direction. The reason I think that we're going to get a cold February if this comes off is that the black arrows again they are difficult to make out but the black arrows are coming in from the north and from the northeast come over here you can see those black arrows from the north as well so we go from south or westerlies really in um in december to north northeasterlies when we get through into january into february and so that's the reason i think that uh, by february we would have a, a cold month and the overall winter looks like that again not sure how useful this is every month is different but overall we get low pressure up to the north the temperature anomaly is average to slightly above and uh, the precipitation anomaly is rather uh, above average as well so an average and quite unsettled wet winter but progressing colder as we go along mean wind direction again not sure how useful this is every month is variable but the mean wind direction is kind of westerly to uh northwesterly obviously if we get towards that stage of winter uh we go into much more of a northerly type flow by february that's month number three though so that's the most unreliable part the most reliable part in theory is december with those westerlies <laughs> but we'll see uh right okay so uh that's how we look at the Jeremy seasonal updates for winter 2023-24 as i say we're doing the uh third and final season one around on saturday so you'll find out at 10 a.m saturday whether all of the other models are in agreement with the jma or not that's going to be a very interesting uh watch on saturday morning and then of course on sunday we've got the 13th and final winter update and then that'll be it and what we do next is release winter forecast on sunday the 3rd of december Exciting times. Uh, right, okay, going to be back a little bit later on in 10 14 day. I've got 12 Zen Bottle Roundup coming up this evening. Please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.